Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to Cobalt Core, the fresh new roguelike deck builder that I'm excited to be back to here today. Doubly so because we're going to be checking out the new character again, Books, who seems very wild. Definitely one of the trickiest of them all so far. We did a run with Perry and Isaac. I think let's slap in... I can definitely see how Max could be a good combo. Let's get Max and Drake. I think that seems good. And then, I'll be real, it's definitely been the longest since we've used the Jupiter. I don't know, it feels like a sometimes ship. I feel like when it gets strong, it's really strong. But if you fall behind with it, it, it it's a little bit spooky. So, we gotta figure out a good way to be nice, clean, and stable with it. I can't gain debris. I can't lose one of my three max shields. I don't know. Remove a card, then gain one of three common cards. Gain a common artifact or upgrade a card. You know what? Let's be weird. Let's get an artifact. Uh, <laughs> this is one of my favorite. Your first attack every turn pierces is really good, especially with the Jupiter, because every one of your turrets attacks counts as your first attack. It's crazy. Uh, again with this. Can we just take a break this time? Find a nice beach planet somewhere? Beach planet, please, no. What's the matter? Do they not make a black faux leather bathing suit specifically for hackers? Actually, they do. Oh, you're making fun of me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, we have the Jupiter's Moons, which we got to uh, whoop, play that so that we can start to shoot. EMP slug is actually super good with this because it stuns and protects the Jupiter drone. Very handy for setup. We're also playing with books. We have this sort of, uh, oh God, we don't have like clean movement. This crystal shard is basically a big component of the character. Crystal or uh, shard is sort of an extra resource. You can have a max of three. It's used to play or play upgraded versions of some other cards. I don't actually have, like, a great way of doing anything here. So we don't have any, like, drone shift or anything to uh, to move some stuff around. We're going to move. We actually have an empty spot in our ship, which is kind of nice. So here's the thing. We have one shield. We do get that for sure. But then we can pay a shard to go for a two damage attack, which, like I said, both of them pierce. It's kind of nuts. Uh, magic battery, I do think is good. It retains three shards for an energy. Zircon zap, move in one direction, and then you can turn shards into evade. I actually think I like that better. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Yep. All right, what do you got? This is man who moved to side. If I fired here, he would move right here and we'd be fine. It's very expensive to do that, but honestly, I think it's okay because it gets our Jupiter drone out, which is one of the big things that we really need to get started here. Play Jupiter's moon set up. Play the crystal. And I guess maybe like a drone shift. Sure. Alright. So. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. We have a crystal, don't we? Bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> okay. This can get stupid. This can get stupid. Auto dodge right. You get uh, the auto dodge left. Very expensive, but that means that you won't take uh, nearly as many hits because they fire left to right. So, therefore, if you're firing right, you might move into another shot. If you're moving left, you will definitely whoop, zip all the way out of the way. I think that could actually be worth it. It makes it an exhaust, though. But I did just say we needed safety. Sure. 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 Huh. 
move over. We get a Jupiter's Moon set up. Could have done the, the Zircon, <laughs> Zircon Zip. I don't think it really matters here. He's getting a shield, but he already has that going on anyways. crystal shard in the hand see what else we could get there's the, yeah the emp slug that's kind of what i was hoping for because with that we don't even have to move and we can stop one of the drones the question is where are you going to move if you move oh my lord this does what two damage move completely okay this is gonna be some science it's gonna be some science i don't want a zircon zip don't really want to play my leftmost card i mean we'll put on the uh, the shielding i guess yeah that's kind of what i thought we move all the way down get out of here god it's such a good one the pierce it's nuts Move left, shard cost one to gain two shard. Move based on your heat. That's interesting, but I, I think no. Found any treasure lately? You know it. Can I get you anything? What would we what are we looking at here? EMP slug doing four is interesting. Five is interesting too. We could go for like just one massive chunk branch predictions is obviously a thing anything upgraded to uh the two damage is honestly not a bad call either mage hand we can make that up to a three damage card for the cost of one i actually don't hate that i actually really don't hate that but you know what we really should do we should really remove a basic shot before we get too much further we really got to get rid of one of those hey we met before right most loops, yeah. I don't I don't remember that we're in a loop until I run into you guys. You always remember? We do. Aha, so it's your fault somehow. Uh got the moral high ground now, suckers. Okay. So we Jupiter's moon for sure. So we could play an unpolished crystal, we could like my god, we could get another one, but god, going through all of that, we need more. We just need more, um... Ooh. More attacks. Less cards. Less other cards. More attacks. We can do the basic dodge and kind of just, like, feed that into the middle here. Or we could obviously Jupiter's Moons and we're fine without anything, but we're already dodging. Let's be stupid. Let's be stupid. So do we, we move to the side. It doesn't care about our empty, weird little spot there, which is interesting. Get a weak point. Heat wave. Ooh. 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 Potentially, especially with that upgrade. Ah, but it's... It sucks. I feel like I got... I've got a lot of weird stuff in my deck already that I kind of need need moved and removed here. I feel like I can't. I can't take a tech card right now. Gain an energy every third turn. Enemy cockpits start weak. That's pretty good, but I think an energy every third turn can do some fun stuff. Max hall, heal one after every elite or boss. Not a problem with that. Hey, look. Target practice. Uh, three damage is pretty spooky. I don't have the ability to do damage to them, so I, I get... if I just stay here, I'm taking two. So I guess we'll just probably use reroll. I think we just do a setup turn. Okay.
We don't get the uh, the weak spot, but we do get to blast him and save these Jupiter drones, which is super good. Play this to get hopefully an attack card. We did indeed. So basic shift, move that down, play a Jupiter's Moon. Two damage, two damage, four damage. Oh, shoot. We definitely, well, no, branch protection wouldn't have helped. The only thing that would have helped would have been a Zircon Zip. We would have taken only our shield damage. We're taking a smacking. A smacking we shouldn't have taken there. Due to Zagreed. The good news is... Nothing. There's no good news. Okay. We have a gem. We do have a gem. You have armor on the wings. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. That's actually kind of a problem. The basic block mage hand for sure. This is honestly, it's not even going to kill. Moving left is probably a better call than even using the shot, because I think our next attack kills, right? Yeah. All right, all good. Spookier than I would have liked, but we gained the max haul. Oh, we gained max haul after each. That's right. Attack and autopilot. Immediately after play, the left or rightmost card in your hand, you move left or right. It's so weird. Branch prediction is not bad. Launch a geode, which is an asteroid, which when it's destroyed. I can't really play with a lot of that right now. Can't really do summons. If fired on, we'll move to the right. We could get another branch prediction. That's kind of an interesting way of saving ourselves. Gain a boost at the start of your first turn of combat. Gain a crystal shard on the first turn of combat. Hey, that's actually really nice. Uh, boost. Most of my status effects are going to... I always find this... God, I must play Max and uh, Drake at the same time a lot. Auto dodge is a status effect. So that's obviously something. I think evade might be. But... We're going to go for the Grimoire. Hey, your ship looks messed up. Let me fix you up real quick. I'm offering two types of repair right now. Extra spicy. Add an artifact, scrap armor. Single use repair kit the 10th time you're hit. Well, you have scrap armor. Gain two max hull and heal to full. Or regular heal three hull. Extra spicy. Bye. Eunice, Cleo, can I get you anything? Feel like I gotta remove. We're running out, like we're running out of attacks. But it's like if I use the basic shot, does it really matter? Eh, kind of. Rerolls all right. I mean, I got rid of a couple of those. I could get rid of basic shift. I could get rid of basic block. I think basic block is maybe a better remove right now. But this is it's. I'm not gonna lie. It's. We got some spooky stuff going on. You know what's really nice, though? That opener. That opener is incredible. Oh. That's less. That, that would actually make us take a damage. Do we do Mage Hand? I guess so. Oh, we didn't even need two of them. It's kind of weird. Got four damage smacking to the face right now. Could just use a branch prediction. I 
don't know, man. Who would just would just get us hit and use up our energy. There's not much of anything. I'll do this in case I've like mathed it wrong. And by mathed it wrong, I mean looked at it wrong. Got the crystal shard. <laughs> Can the big crystal only move like one per turn? I think I might actually take this one damage so that I can keep a dodge. Okay. Big Crystal can move another one per turn. Good to know. Okay. It's a little weird. Play your leftmost card and exhaust it. I don't think I want to do that right now, but we got a little bit of damage out. We also put this in harm's way. Eh, a little, a little bit of a, eh, momentum lost moment. You get extra movement. Importantly, we also get the Jupiter's Moon. We play this. We can move back. Or I could just move over in this way. We also get the uh, heat reduction, which is kind of nice. There we go. There we go. That's what we've been looking for, baby. That's the stuff. That's our big old hit. Don't really want to exhaust it. Blast another. All right. We're schmoovin'. I don't know, man. Just a little little dinky shot, I guess. And I feel like setting up another Jupiter's Moon is probably a good call. Because we've lost both of them. Okay. Huh. Hmm. We do this. We set up a Jupiter's Moon? Why would why would we? Why would we have done this at all? That's a great question. No good answer. Maybe you'll move? Nope. You don't move very much, do you, big crystal? I think we just set up a little bit of this for next turn. We're in a good spot. We have an extra drone ship. We can move big crystal or move our stuff. <laughs> we can't move big crystal. Nothing can move big crystal. I kind of, am I willing to give it a sacrifice here? I mean, what, what else are we going to do, right? At this point, I think we're ready to exhaust heat sink. There's not much fight left. There we go. Good. Attack equal to your missing hull. I mean... With some drone setup, that's pretty dumb. Piercing attack and lock engines, though? It could just never move. Save your current position to a load state. Position? Eh. Eh. It's between these two. This could be unbelievable. It could be unbelievably good. We're getting lots of max hull. One of our first relics ever was adaptive plating. This is really interesting, though. Especially if I get the two damage upgrade that's very strong. It's piercing. That can be the... As, like, thinking about it as the second attack that we do is big. 
Okay, three shield, three evades, good. Gain extra energy every turn. Add a trash to your drop pile every two turns. It's spooky. Do I have a good setup card that I really need? I mean, EMP slug honestly might be considered a good setup card here. Get an extra energy to start, too. All right, cat. The others are busy for a moment. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. Transfer the... 0FF3 to offline storage. Access denied. Username root password password123. File transfer starting. Complete. Alright. I got the file. How do you feel? Invalid file name or command. Cat? Invalid file name or command. Oh, cat, are you in there? What's the command? Show personality core info. Personality core info not found. Copy file 0F3 back to main storage. Rebooting personality core. What I miss? Tried to get to the file. I guess I forgot my password. Oh. Well, we tried. Huh. Huh. Big huh. Huh. Am I supposed to actually go in the files or something? So we pop that. Ooh, it's beautiful. Ooh, it's beautiful. We could do like a... Okay, wait, we could do Zircon Zip, place a Jupiter's moon. Oh, this is weird. Why, why do it that way, I guess? Just because any, any shot at all kills now, I suppose. That fight's over. <laughs> that fight, that fight's done. <laughs> the end. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Escape artist is wild. System security. I don't know. They seem okay. Yikes, these paths. Not great. I think I might go for double event. I think we might go for double event and, uh, and cross our fingers. Triple event. I'm really curious. Okay. Crystal Shard means we always get to play another one of these, which means we can go for two EMP slugs on first turn. That's so clean, man. Don't love this. No, do I not want to? I think I don't move here. Which is kind of weird. Because I, I didn't have the uh, shard to do that there. I could put out another Jupiter drone. All right. Crystal shard, what do we got? EMP slug. Love to see it. In that case, we go boom, boom, boom. All right. We need to find um, better heat management, I'd say. We could have done Mage Hand into that, too, to be clear. Ooh. Why do they, why do they both stun? What would be the point in that? This is, this is good, though. Right, most card gains retained for the rest of combat. Because we can go for like a EMP slug. On a turn where we have the four EMP slug into like a seer for just like, just like a boom, you're dead. But that's so much heat generation. That's so much heat generation. And I know it doesn't seem like it. Two heat generation? Two? That's so much? It is though. It kind of is. Heatsink B is much better. Because the thing is, you don't always want to play Heatsink. I don't have another way to remove heat right now. 
And I also have another upgrade that I already want. Ah, I think it's awkward. Oh, my head. Ah, you all again. Extra planar being, neat. What do you value most? Healing, damage, whoa. Evasion. Single use. Damage, then it's yours. Thanks. That's pretty, I've never seen that one. It's a one-time use ever card, though. Uh, we do Jupiter's Moon, Crystal Shard. Jupiter's Moon. Basic Shifts? EMP Slug? There we go. There we go. We got there. We could Ephemeral Blast. We could just win. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to save it for something that's actually, like, spooky. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. I meant to click that. Uh. Oh boy. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good either. I mean, we do have that uh, every once in a while. We're just going to get like a big old reward thing. I kind of want to play the Jupiter's Moons. But it's a little bit weird because it puts us in a spot where we're going to be taking a hit again. Kind of. Unless I heat sink. But then I don't get to do anything else. I think a... Jupiter's moving to block that into heat sink is a nice, very defensive way of doing stuff. We could actually even get a freeze dry, so they're engine locked. They can't move now. That that helps. I don't want to get the because the second I get tapped by that, it's a problem. I believe it reduces my energy, but this thing, this thing sucks. I just don't know, what, what do I got in here? I've got two branch predictions, which I don't think can dodge a seeker. Okay. We're still set up. It's probably gonna move. We're not set up. Good God. Just a whole bunch of nothing. Just a whole bunch of nothing. Did I play my... No, I did not play my EMP slug. It's just not... Huh. We just keep on setting up, and the thing is, it's... We're trading back and forth there. I need to at least be doing this. That makes... It makes more sense. Okay, the good news is... We should have, um... So we're, we're using this to draw our Jupiter's moons, which is good and bad at the same time, right? Like, it's kind of good, kind of bad. We're getting there. It's just so slow. There we go. We've done it. We've done it. We've done it. There we go. But we managed to save our big boy blast. Another rage hand. I don't think I can. Attack for your heat in an end turn. Well. Well. No. We're getting a weird signal. Offering from another timeline. Another has sent aid. Ooh. 
Briggs got good stuff. Oh. No thanks, probably. No thanks. Safety lock. Choose a card with exhaust from your deck that no longer exhausts. Can't say no now. Well. Yikes. It's not fully bad, per se. a lot we could just kill crystal shard in the hand I mean it's it's not it's not fully bad it's just weird I think a basic shift to save our Jupiter business is not the bad I don't gain anything from anything so we just leave that there Jupiter's moons, don't mind it. Move some heats. I think we don't need two branch predictions. I, I guess I thought it was going to be like very useful, but it is not. <laughs> Locking in place, I do like. We go for the Zircon Zip. You know what? We take the shield. We take the shield hit. That's fine. Okay. And we're happy we took the shield hit there. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So we take four damage, we move to the left, we take three damage, we move to the right, we take four damage. No, I mean, we're, we're happy we have the scrap armors. That's what we're happy about, because this is... That was greed. We could have, I mean, we could have done it in a safer way and been fine, but also we wouldn't have done big funny number. I hate that we have another unpolished crystal. It's not bad. Okay, we want to do this first because we want to draw an attack. Thank you. Oof. Is that an elite? Yes. Gain energy and a heat. That's actually so good. But also so weird. I just... I'm gonna overheat so easily. I was hoping for like a heat reduction trinket or something. It's it's good. Don't get me wrong. It's good. Overclock, it's good. I, heat can be reduced to negative three. Well, that, okay. That's actually not as crazy as it sounds. Jupiter drones do one more damage when directly in front of your comms, which is this. I actually don't know if I care. But I also don't know if I care about this. How often am I heat sinking before EMP slug? Not very likely. I'll take the one more damage sometimes, I guess. He who, welcome to my Emporium of Wondrous Ideas, Traveler. May I offer you one of my creations? These all seem absolutely useless. Perhaps they are. Perhaps they are. Three energy. <laughs> three energy. Gain three energy. Uh, With the max card that makes exhaust cards free, that's good. Or, I mean, with the... Yeah. Buckshot, do zero damage three times. I mean, obviously, with power, that's good. Waltz, move left twice. And then right. <laughs> Once, twice. <laughs> uh, card that whenever you move, you move two more. Before. No, no. What? I don't know. This one, this one I don't know yet. There's got to be a, there's got to be something. Whenever you move, you fire. Is that is that one of them? That's a card, I think. 
Obviously, none of these are useful right now, right? I don't think we have any gimmicks for that at the time being. Yeah, no. Thanks, I guess. Back and trying to steal some artifacts again, are we? Sorry, won't happen again. Can I get you anything? Can I upgrade this? No. Just making sure I couldn't upgrade it to get it to uh, stay. We can always be at max crystals. I could upgrade EMP slug to four damage since I'm using it a lot. Freeze dry up to two damage is good, especially since it's piercing. I think removal is the way to go. I think we could probably get rid of base shift, or we could probably, I don't know, I could get rid of the basic shot. I'm not using it very often. Maybe I should be is the thing. But we should be using Mage Hand more. All gone. So removing it should help with that. Hello, Demon Rigs. Okay, what do we got? I'm happy to move and take one damage. We should have Jupiter's Moons first there, though. God, I wish we could go back one. Should we? Should we have? Should we have though? Maybe we shouldn't have. I think I think we're actually fine. It's just a bit of a bummer there, I guess. But sort of. It might be a better idea for us to get rid of that early. Finally, though. It always lasts in our deck for so long, and I'm like be clear i know that that's not always great uh huh. this is less than stellar if i move and i ephemeral blast one she got you have 21 halt we, we don't even kill That's actually, yeah. Move here, so it's one, one empty. Two. So I take, take two damage, but I take two damage instead of four. And I can make it so you don't follow me. It's not good. I'm not gonna... I ain't gonna sugarcoat it. It looks bad. Okay. Is this... Wing that does hit there. Okay. I think we pop you with the... Bang, bang. If we move and we take two... But we freeze dry... We lock them in place for a long time for the price of one hull, and we add another stack to scrap armor. They're stuck for two turns. I guess I stay. So they're stuck there. If I can get them stuck all the time until we like draw it again, that's very funny to me. What would I what would I do better? Just fire it so you, so we can play with the uh, the squad. Yeah, we're good to go. If he moves over towards me, then guess what? He gets... Or it's rigs. I mean, you're dead. I love piercing, man. I love piercing. All that shield business, it doesn't exist. I don't have to think about it. 
Serenity, the next time you would gain any amount of heat instead loses Serenity and then draw a card. It's an exhaust card, though, of course. It's not like a... It's a freebie. Choose a card in hand to make a copy for this fight. Wait. It has to be the leftmost card is the problem. But you know what I'm thinking, right? Like that... Oh, wait. Oh, it's got the upgrade that's choose card in hand already. Okay. The first time... Each turn, the first time you play a zero-cost card, do its actions twice. Oh, my God. These are so good, but... Zero doubler. If I can play that seven damage card and it counts twice, that's obviously crazy. I'm cooking. I'm cooking. Uh, we got the extra. Uh, what am I, wait, what, what's the plan here? To undo? Yeah, no, that was a mistake. We had, we had four mana. I was thinking, I was making a play for five mana. Unless I exhaust my EMP slug, which I could do. Because we need to get out is the thing as well. So Jupiter's Moon... I think we can play and exhaust this. I know it's like pretty early to do that, but I think it's fine. Do a little bit of a Zircon zip back. The goal would, is obviously going to be to copy the Ephemeral Blast, but that's pretty, you know, pretty presumptuous, of course. Okay. <laughs> I thought that, Okay. Okay. In my defense, it's midnight and I'm this is the last video I'm recording before vacation. So I'm sorry. Alright, so we do this. We do a little bit of a relocate, I presume. That got doubled. We pop this out. I kinda want you to move though. Freeze dry, it's a little bit weird here. I'm obviously looking for the good stuff. I'm gonna, I want them to move, so I don't wanna destroy that there. Yeah, that just worked out well. Um, I have three movements. Could've done like a basic shift move, boom, boom. We could've got a double mage hand, that would've definitely been a little bit better. I'll at least get a basic shift to leave here. I don't want to use my Ephemeral Blast. I know I... Okay. This gets doubled. Which is pretty fun. Come on. You know what I want. I hate you. Okay, so which way do we move? We move this way. We can get away with that. I mean, that's not bad already. We'll just leave this stuff. And then we have a movement so we can... Come on. And you just will not give it to me, will you? Okay, so now we actually do like the freeze dry. can move to... I mean, so they're locked, right? Yeah, they're engine locked. They're engine locked. Shoot. I think this is actually fine, though. We'll save our resources. We're not going to go crazy with it. Come on. Why is it so hard to get the the two cards that I want at the same time. 
Play your leftmost card for free and then exhaust it. <laughs> Alrighty. We definitely don't need this many branch predictions if we're never playing them. Okay. This is probably good enough. Two movement. We can move over Jupiter's moon, move back. The question is if we should make a... I think we should make a copy of Mage Hand because clearly we need it right now because of the exhaust. You know? All right, we should be good. One would assume. Thank you. All right, we made it a little bit harder on ourselves for going for that uh, that early play, but I think it's fine. Three damage. Zero. This is a zero cost. It, it plays double. What on God's green earth is this? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes. Please, thank you. You have to go for an event. Getting a hail from a research vessel. Hey, here for a brief test of the Duplatron. This might sting a little bit. Dupe a card in your deck four times. I actually... There's a world where there's something... Oh, the crystal. I would have duped the crystal. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Hoo-hoo. Hey, bud. Yo, can I get you anything? Okay. Um. What have I done? What have I done? Let's think. Let's think. Heat sink. I mean, I don't think I need Mage Hand anymore. There's a lot I probably don't need anymore. Is there also, is there anything to upgrade? Don't think I want that buoyant. Zircon Zip's fine. I mean, Branch Prediction B is kind of like a twofer. It makes it a good card, and it makes it so it's a card that I can get out of my deck. It's a two for one. Because it, it now exhausts, which is obviously useful. Fighting elites gives me more hull. Also, more artifacts. Okay. Come on, man. We should have just done a bunch of setup. Because this guy doesn't get angry until we do something, right? I think he starts going now. I mean, he's going to do this anyways. It's just what he does. So we dupe this? That's dumb. Uh, I'm just going to play this and get rid of it for this fight because we should be good to go. One would imagine. We could play one of our many, 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 many uh, these. You know what's crazy? The crazy thing is I probably wouldn't even kill the shopkeeper third one. <laughs> we don't chance this. We don't chance this. We, s we spend one of our ephemeral blasts at whopping one of them and say whatever. Uh, Schwet. Lose four shard if you don't have enough. This does not happen. Add one to all attacks. Increase your max shard capacity by one. Ha. Huh. That's pretty good, but also we don't really need that kind of a thing. Gain a serenity every third turn. That's kind of what I was looking for. Three max hull. 
But now, do I really care about heat? I don't think I care about heat anymore. We have our win condition and it's different. I actually go for the hole, which is crazy. After all of this run saying that I wanted heat management. Okay, nope. Not what I wanted. Oh, because what I wanted is over here. Don't greed, get get that. Moving over. Jupiter's moon. So we might as well do this. So they're locked in place. I don't know if that's necessarily good. Ooh. Seven, 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 seven. Wow. Uh, yeah, we don't want to... I mean, I would have loved the Heat Sink B upgrade a long time ago. Two to the next status you gain. We, we don't care. Shard Collector. You may hold it. Well, I would have gotten that other card now. Um... We got the four. We can move it. Stun ya, pop ya. That's fine. And then we... Move? Wait, hold on. That wasn't well considered either. But you know what's actually kind of nice is if we take a big old blast from the boss, we actually get full heal there. So that's actually kind of nice. Of course. Of course. I still have the movement for this. So, hmm. I could copy this. It's a thing. We give them armor, but like if we're piercing anyways, that doesn't matter. Um, we're not taking damage already, so like this is kind of fine. Huh. It's a very weird one. I like it. Ah, I like it. It's so strange. Thank you. Scoot. I don't want Ephemeral Blast. I'm a greedy son of a gun. He's also he's getting poisoned like crazy. If I need to, I'll do it. It's looking like I might need to. kill on this 20 we don't even kill on it unless we have we do we play a zero cost we must have played the crystal shard we did we don't even kill on it so i'm going to literally just sit here he's slowly dying it's kind of what this guy does uh 
Uh, so now he's at 14. I should be. I should have piercing. Should be enough. We just need to be. I'll go for it. Wait, we 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 attack twice. I've used a bunch of them, but that was looking a little bit grim. Attack for three, reduce armor by one. I mean, that's not bad. Launch an object from your missile bay, the geode that will give you a shard. I mean, we could play it twice. That's kind of funny. Hot foot's not bad. The first time you play a crystal shard each turn, gain a temp shield. Serenity every third turn. That seems pretty good. I play a lot of those. Wow, you really, uh, really went for it, huh? Oh, and this is, I, this is, importantly, you can't stun this guy. At least you can't stun this. Okay, so if I'm, I would need three movements. Well, I have Zircon Zap. I'm going to play this first. Okay. This card for free and then exhaust it. You know, we might not want EMP slug on this fight. Truthfully. So we do a Zircon Zap. We summon this here. The first one pierces. Hmm. Oh, we didn't have any. Yeah, that makes sense. We move two. We still have a movement. This is in a goodish spot. Oh, it's that's uh, a that works. For the love of God, could we ever get the? You know what I want. You have to know what I want. I refuse to believe you don't know what I want. Do I sack it? I think I sack at Jupiter's moons here. The question is if we freeze dry him so he doesn't move. I think the answer is yes, because that leaves this in a good spot. And I don't know if I'm going to... Eh. Thank you. What do you have? How much health? 17. sucks. I might as well play the free one. Good. Please, something. Alright. Bye. Alright, we got the ephemeral blast still. We don't take nothing. Books! That's me! Can I get you anything? I couldn't. There's a world where I could kill, but I, I just don't think I have it. If I had the zero costs on my um, turrets, I think we maybe we maybe could. Admin deploy. I can't believe that's honestly existed this long. Reroll has more use in the deck. I could use it to play EMP Slug for one cheaper. That's the best I could do. If I upgraded it, I could do that. Cat, I wasn't completely honest with you earlier. Yeah, I kind of figured. File 0F3, I got a copy of it. I think it is you. I don't understand. When I moved this file, you were gone. Huh. Kept a copy of it. File's timestamp says it was written at the exact moment all these loops started. What do you think it means? I have absolutely no idea. All right, well... I have a cobalt to upload myself to. Wait, before you go, your password is password123. Max, thank you. Wait, my password is password123? You promised you wouldn't be mad. No, I didn't. 
What on earth? Okay. So I think we, um, pop this up. Oh, it's tough, because it's like I want to draw so I can get another one up. God, it's annoying, but then we can't do the extra. I think it's okay. And then we can... Oh, God. How do we do this? This is all weird. It's all weird. We already played my double, so I kind of want to save that. I think we... I think we stun. Mm. Well, we're going to get our heal. That was a mistake, I think. Yeah, I think that was a mistake. That, that's fine. That, for what it's worth, that one, I don't get. That's okay by me. Um, we're taking one damage right now. So a re-roll is actually not bad. A mage hand's not bad. We could do the ephemeral blast. But, I don't know. I, I'm wondering if, I'm not going to say it yet. I'm wondering if we've got a new final boss or something. I know that I won't I won't spoil something. But I'm curious. Okay, choose a card to make a temp copy of. We could. Wait, if we do this on ephemeral. That was too premature. Um, still not bad. Like, I'm not taking damage, but I was thinking that we had more than we did. And this fight is, this fight gets really messy. It gets really messy in a situation like this. Where we don't have our stuff set up. If I move one to the left. This is trying to do three damage. Yeah, there's not, like, a good way to handle this here. Because I can't even EMP slug. I mean, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. But... I'm going to need to move, get my, like, full left dodge thing. Man, if I move left, I can Ephemeral Blast twice for the 14, which is obviously good, but I'm... Eh. We take... We move, we take... One, two, three. Take three hull damage. How much do I care? It depends if there's a fight after this. I don't know that there is. I don't think there is. Oh, okay. So the second hit doesn't even... Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, that actually worked out fairly well. If I move over here, so be... Ooh, wait, we would end up taking... We'd be... One, two, three, four, five, six. We'd be one, two, three, four, five, six. We'd be taking four damage instead of four damage. But we'd also be over there instead, which... Might be better, right? No, yeah, yeah. I think it's better. It's also kind of cute looking. Oh, Lord. Okay. Go for the freeze dry. 
a heat sink will do it. Hey, boy, howdy. All right. Thank God. Just in case. I'm pretty sure we're not... Unless... Going stronger, who shall it be this time? I guess I'll have it be Max. You seem... Max seems quite relevant to the plot, huh? You can see into our souls and read our minds or whatever, right? Yeah? Then why bother talking to us? Why not do it telepathically? Anything but the slightest telepathic influence would annihilate your soul. Souls are real? Yep. And they can be annihilated? Very much so. Sick. Thanks for, uh, not doing that. Your gratitude is noted. Hey, Max, I found your thumb drive on the ground in the core control room. Ah, very good. I put that there. You passed my test. Right, the thumb drive could have been full of viruses. Don't worry, though. I plugged it in to check. Sorry, but I gotta report this security breach to Perry. Ah, crud. Now she'll never let me do my cool experiments. Cool experiments? Well, the court does weird things sometimes. Weird? Weird how? It emits signals that I can't make sense of, and they change over time. Well, really? Well, I just upgraded Cat with some pattern recognition capabilities. Correct. How can I assist? We could plug her into the core. I'm listening. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Another one bites the dust. We got 10 runs. Okay, so one more win. And we are unlocked uh, whatever this last ship is. We still got this character that we're waiting on at this point. But alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it for today. Man, I there's some crazy decks still left here, gang. There's some crazy stuff left. But hey, thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Rogue likes and more every single day. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you gotta let me know in the form of a comment down below. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel. Like I said, Rogue likes more every single day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!